actions. Are you willing to risk your life? Everybody watching this video, everybody to ever exist ever has got to put respect on my nigga Luffy's name. If you already do, then yes, sir, Dami gang. If you don't, well, listen. Yes, sir. After this video, everybody will respect Luffy because nigga Luffy's that guy. But before I talk about the greatness of the straw hat man that'll ultimately make you respect him, I'm gonna clear Luffy of like two allegations. The first allegation are the Goku clone allegations. I got, a, now, I got I school starting. This. Have a good day in class, bro. Luffy is not a Goku clone. Cut that out now. Just because they're both goofy and box dudes hard paws. Hey, yo, what the does not mean he's a clone just because luffy loves to eat does not mean he's a clone can a brother not be hungry can a brother not feast can a brother enjoy his cuisines in peace without critique do you want to know who else is goofy likes to fight and eats a lot naruto want to know who else not sue are they goku clones no Yivini. so boom i freed luffy from that allegation the second allegation is the luffy got no drip allegations now i can kind of see where people all right, all right. Y'all y'all think Luffy don't got no drip? Y'all think Luffy don't got no drip? There's been a couple times my boy came out drippy. He had to he had put that shit on a couple times, you know? People are coming from because this is Luffy's main outfit. But guess what though? If you look closely, those are the East Blue Twelves on his feet. They're better than Nah, he be mid slides. sometimes. They're that's facts. Nike slides. They're better than Crocs. They're so lying. So boom, it's not a bad <laughs> fit. It's a calm fit. And then bro got other good fits too. Like oh my goodness. I'm not gonna hold, bro. There's times where he he got the drip going crazy, bro. Like y'all can't talk about my man Luffy like that. He got he got he got he got the he got the drip, bro. The main outfit is calm, you know. It's hot on the ocean. You gotta you feel me? Have the the cozy fit on, toes out and shit. Like look right. Why no hell yeah? He got that shit on though. That fit is you know cold. Saying, got drip, you mean? And just like that, bro, beat the Goku clone in no drip allegations. Not gonna lie, those allegations should not have been placed on, bro. But hey, it be like that. So now I'm gonna just talk about how goaded Monkey D. Luffy is, and after that, you'll respect him because like the greatness. Now Luffy just undeniably just has that dog in him. The D in Monkey D. Luffy stands for dog. <laughs> A good example of him displaying dog is when bro fights. That nigga does not care who you are, who you think you are, all of that. Nigga, if he got beef with you, he got beef with you. If he wants to touch you, nigga, he'll touch you. And that's because bro. Hey, yo, you touch is insane. Again, towards the beginning of the show, this dude named Don Krieg was trying to pull up where Luffy was. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, Don Krieg. Coming. The strongest pirate in the East Blue. But Luffy was not phased at all. Nigga Luffy was like, okay. And them bro was just <laughs> absolute zero fear in his heart. Later on in the day, and by later on, I mean like 10 minutes, Don Creek pulled up and just started spazzing. So, you know what I'm saying? Luffy beat his ass. And not gonna lie, it's that simple. Well, Luffy did think like sharp bullets to beat his ass. <laughs> Don Creek was tweaking. Luffy ain't like that. So he got his ass dealt with. And that's how it was with like basically every villain that Luffy fought. After Don Creek, Arlong was the greatest threat to the East Blue. But guess what? He yeah, got his yeah, ass yeah, dealt yeah. with too. Now, as for the why he got dealt with is because Luffy's W mans, but I'm gonna talk about that later. But his no caring hand throwing did not stop in the East Blue. Bro went to the Grand Line and was boxing like three warlords of the sea Crocodile, Do Flamingo, aka Dofi, aka Joker, aka stay 10 miles away from this dude unless you want to die in this fat head. And by the way, if you don't watch <laughs> One Piece, just know the seven warlords are basically seven real ass niggas and negresses. But bro wasn't just boxing world. All right, to be fair, though, Luffy do be catching hella L's, bro, sadly. Sadly, my boy be taking some L's, bro, but I know that's part of the character development because we can't act like he just walked up in there and was cooking everybody. He, he, he get punched on a lot. He get punched on a lot, but I won't talk about too far. I don't want to spoil it for my boy Jace. I don't want to spoil it for him. You know, he only he only 700 episodes in. I don't want to spoil the good shit for him, but now nah, he does die a lot. Well, not die, but he get his shit cooked a lot, bro. Then that hockey and plot armor comes on. He's like, I'm him. I'm him. The dude who claimed he was God because he had lightning powers. Bro could do this. He rejects death so itself. He was Facts. Cool, he still got packed up by Luffy, so I guess he's still a bitch. Bro boxed a flying leopard nigga and folded him too. Bro even went down into the sea where fish live and fought a fish man off perks. So you would think a fish man off strength perks will win because they're in the sea and all that, right? Yeah, you gotta stay off TikTok and Twitter, bro, if you don't want no leaks. How you let a nigga fold you in your own habitat, bro? Bro got folded in his own climate, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's tough! 
Then in Wano at only 19 years old, two years were really one year for real of being a pirate. Bro was boxing with some of the strongest pirates in that damn show. Now the first fight with Luffy and Kaido, you know what I'm saying? We don't talk about the first fight with Luffy and Kaido. But after that, that nigga Luffy was boxing. If he wants to throw hands, guess what? He'll throw hands with you. And like, you gotta respect that. You gotta respect the dude who will throw hands with anybody no matter what. Even with Whitebeard in the war, Bro was talking crazy to the strongest pirate alive. The same pirate who, you know, makes tsunamis for fun. Bro was like, not gonna lie, Whitebeard, you a bitch. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to become the pirate king, right? Well, guess what? That's gonna be me, Goofy. Oh my god! Bro, Luffy was talking <laughs> hot like he's that nigga. And shit, who's finna- Nah, this video is W. W video. W video for sure. He just has that dog in him when it comes to fighting and wants to smoke. And you just gotta respect that dog. Bro is probably a dog because his whole family's some dogs. His grandpa was a dog back in his heyday head and Bro was boxing on par with the king of the pirates, my nigga Raj. Bro's nickname is the hero of the Navy. That's like how, you know, LeBron's the hero of the NBA. Not gonna lie, no one has ever called LeBron the hero of the NBA. I'm tweaking. Sha boing boing, get the dick out your mouth. But for real, Garp is just <laughs> <a> <laughs> hell no. Nah. He's 78, moving like he's 25. You know what I'm saying? You love to see it. Nigga moving like he me. I ain't 25 though. Luffy's father, Monkey D Dragon, also has that dog in him. Now, I've never seen bro fight. Honestly, I've barely even seen bro talk. But he is the leader of the Revolutionary Army, and you gotta be a dog for all that. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you, What do y'all think Dragon's devil fruit is? I feel like every time they show him, there's always like a storm in the sky. So is that them like kind of telling us what his devil fruit is in a way, but like not revealing it completely? Luffy's grandfather and father are some dog ass niggas. It's a god fruit? Yeah, I would assume so. He was the second division commander of the White Beard Pirates at age 20. You want to know what most dudes are doing at age 20? Listen the god wind fruit? Singer of all time. Okay. SZA. Nobody, nobody like you do, I can't lose. Ace at 20, he was in them fields posted. Them bro was leaking sky fear. But you know what I'm saying, bro? This is a good video, though. And died like a dog, too. And his other brother, Sabo. Bro is the second in command of Dragon's revolutionary army. He booms niggas in the name of freedom. And Luffy's mom? We've never seen Luffy's mom. Luffy wouldn't be a true Shonen MC if both parents were alive. So, like, yeah. But bro's family is cold. And while Luffy is a dog when it comes to fighting and, like, everything. As I said before, Luffy is also just so W man. He's the most W man's person you'll ever meet in your damn life. To be fair, I guess I gotta agree with that. Luffy is a good kind of friend. Except for the Usopp shit, but I guess even then, you know, you can't have two motherfuckers, you feel me, type shit. But he is a W friend in a lot of a lot of these arcs. He really be looking out for his people and his crew. If you're in One Piece and somehow befriend Luffy, just know you're good. That man will literally go through hell and back just for you, bruh. And all you gotta do to become his friend is give bro some food. Well, there's that on there. King, you know what I'm saying? Get a whopper. whopper, 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 whopper. And some water. Track down Luffy somehow. I don't know. Don't look at me. Then give bro the food. After that, not gonna lie, you're living. Whatever you need, he's there. If you got beef with someone he's there if you get robbed and need your stuff back he's there if you're black he's there zoro isn't though zoro might cut your ball <laughs> and sell him for 30 bands zoro isn't though <laughs> But besides Zoro, the whole rest of the crew is there. And they're there because, like I just said, Luffy's W mans. Bro saved a whole country called Alabasta all because some girl needed help. A whole warlord was trying to take over their country. Nigga was stealing their reign, stealing their everything. Nigga, he was doing some L man stuff, not gonna lie. Bro would take out other pirates who came to Alabasta to look like a hero so he wouldn't be suspected of doing stuff behind the scenes. Bro, low key a genius. Bro, think he Eisen. Bro was, you know what I'm saying, being a villain. So the girl, aka Vivi, aka the princess told Luffy that and Luffy was like say no more bro pulled up to Alabasta punched VV I'm not gonna give no context on why pulled up on crocodile got smacked pulled up on crocodile again got smacked so bro took two <laughs> what? success is built upon multiple L's so he spun back and beat the brakes off him crocodile got sent so high in the sky you think bro trying to meet the law then boom Luffy saved the whole entire country because he's just W man's them the fact that he showed how he got smacked twice like that is fucking hilarious. He did get smacked, though. He did, bro. Like, he ran up in a whole city, no training arc, and was just boxing. 
This guy literally just doesn't train. He just, you know what? I'm fighting everyone. All of y'all are my ops. Bro partook in a feast right after you already know Hungry Ann. But it's crazy because that's not even his best W man's feat. He has some mothers like breaking into a marine base to save Robin. She got kidnapped by a secret government agent. I don't know, bro. Plot armor. To their base, beat their ass, and got Robin back. He also spun back for Nami against a shark. This man, Arlon, killed Nami's mom, then terrorized her whole village. And not to mention forcing Nami to do child labor. So when Luffy saw Nami cry, you already know what he did. Yirin. Bro placed his hat on Nami's head, took Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp, and performed the coldest walk in all of anime history. <laughs> Pulled up to Arlong's crib, punched him in the face, then, like everyone else, beat the brakes off him. Then, boom, he saved Nami, saved the village, and saved you. From V Buck scams. What? So he has multiple W man's feats, but his most W man's feat was definitely him trying to save Ace. Ace was about to yeah, die, so bro. He snuck on the marine. I'm gonna be honest. If you didn't like One Piece, and I had to show you one episode or a few episodes to get you into One Piece, I think I would start with this 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 arc right here. This arc would be the arc that would make you feel, and there's multiple moments before this, but it'll make you feel like, damn, okay, these characters aren't just like, hey, we're here to fight just to fight. Like, they actually put some, like, emotional energy into it for you to, like, really feel what's going on. So this episode, like, I feel like if you meet somebody who doesn't like One Piece, I would just be like, hey, watch this episode with me. And let me know how you feel after it. This episode will get them hooked. They'll, they'll want to watch it. The most heavily guarded prison in the show. Folded half the prison because, like I said, bro got hands. Got smacked and almost died. But guess what? He ain't died because he's a dog. Ace got moved to Marine 4. So Luffy got up, left the prison, and went to Marine 4 too. In the middle of a war. All that just to try and save Ace. W Mans. You honestly just gotta respect W Mans of that caliber, bruh. I sincerely hope you do respect W Mans of that caliber because if not, it's gonna get wicked. You're right. That episode is such a good episode, bro. Marine Ford is dope, bro. Even W Mans. But Luffy being W Mans and having that dog in the massage. I can't possibly make a monkey. Owner of Krispy Kreme. Yeah, insane. He is the Riz Man. You honestly just gotta respect the Riz that he has. Sin City was a Bro pulled Rebecca, Shirahoshi, Margaret, Boa Hancock, and the whole. Bro, why you had to look? Why y'all had to say it like that? Krispy Kreme. I'm at the part where he became a donut. Bro, we know what happened to him, bro. Stop, bro. Let Ace rest in power, bro. Stop. Island full of women without trying. Like, bro, who you know is doing that? Like, Boa Hancock, psh, she don't even like dudes. She actually, like, hates men. But Luffy still pulled her. That actually, like, shouldn't even be possible. Bro's Riz Yo! Since he actually got reality bending Riz, I'm perplexed. And on top of that, Boa Hancock is, like, canically the baddest in the show. So, bro pulled the baddest woman in the show who also hates men while being a man. That is insane, Riz. Sensational. Ah, Luffy, my god. God damn, get off that nigga dick, bro. Monkey D Luffy overall is just a Rizzly W man's homo sapien who got that dog in him. And for that, put some respect on his name before I get mad. Off topic, but drink lemonade. It is good. But yeah, that's. I didn't even mean to start this, but this this seems like it might be a good video.